Are you and Scott? No. No. Not yet. I, I came to pick flowers for Emma. Everyone is waiting for me. What are you doing here? What do you think? You know how much this means to me. I am finally, finally getting everything I've ever wanted. And you show up in the middle of my wedding? I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not doing this. Look at me. Look at me in the eye. You tell me right here, right now, what you're feeling. Because if you're feeling what I am, it's not too late. Don't do it, Annie. Don't marry Scott. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. It's just, you're kind of the last thing I need right now. This is hard enough. What is? Marissa, you can talk to me. No, I have been talking to you, David. Talking to you is part of the reason why I'm here. I was desperate and I made some terrible choices, starting with coming to you for help. But, oh, I'm sorry. This isn't your fault. I'm, I'm not saying... You're not saying much of anything, sweetheart. Because you weren't supposed... Listen, I, I tried calling Crystal for a reason. The last thing I need right now is to fight with you. That is the last thing I want right now. Okay, then let's just go home. Thank you for offering to drive. I, I want to offer so much more. You can't. Says who? Me. I say. I missed out on so much of your life, haven't I? I never got a chance to wipe away your tears or scare monsters Listen, from under your if you're your looking bed. for a second chance. I was. There's no point, is there? It's too late. You are the last person that should be here right now, I had right to come. Now, I really? had to come. David got some cryptic phone call and rushed out without telling me who it was. I was afraid he'd found out what you were doing, so I thought I could intercept him while you were meeting with the mechanic. But where is he? Did he show? Was he no, here? No, he's not. Yeah, no, not, not, not yet. It's okay. You can come out. It's only Greenlee. Hi. Madison. Y you brought back up? Or? Uh, no, I am. Um, I crashed the party uninvited. Yeah, actually. she did. She did, which seems to be a little bit of a theme right now. You know what? I should go anyway. But I'll see you later. Yes, okay, yes. Please be careful. I will. I will. Hey. Thank you for, um, I mean, just... Thank you. Anytime. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm great. You and Madison seem to be doing well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we are. Yeah, hanging out a lot. I mean, every time I see you, whoop, there she is. <laughs> Green lady. <laughs> what? What? Two nosy? No, no. I, just, I just have one more question, then I'm done. Okay. Go ahead. You know, this thing with you and Madison, do you... Is it for real? I, um, I think what Madison and I have is starting to get very real. <laughs> Why do you sound so surprised? Well, no, I'm, I'm not surprised. I just haven't sort of thought of it like that, you know? Things have been kind of crazy, and... But like you said, she's always there. You know, in, in, in a good way. She's, she's, she's always there in, in a... In a in a great way, she stuck by me when a lot of women wouldn't have. I'm very lucky. So is she. Are we... Are we cool? We can talk about this? <laughs> <laughs> if we got through me marrying David Hayward, I think we can get through this. Don't you? Yeah, I think the odds are probably in our favor. Yeah, you're mm. right. It had to be hard. What? Having to stand and watch while well, I made the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> but now I'm finally going to make it right, thanks to you. I'm so grateful, Ryan. You don't have to thank me. 
You're my friend. And you always will be. And above everything else, I just... I just want you to be happy. And I want the same for you. And we're on our way, right? I mean, you with Madison and me as far away from David as humanly possible. Well, we have a little bit of work to do on that front. No, I do. I, I have work to do. You, you, you should get out of this. You should go. Live your life. Hey, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this one more time, okay? I will do whatever I have to do for as long as I have to do it to make sure that you are out of this marriage, okay? You can count on me. I know I can. I thank you, but you told me not to, so. Huh. Okay, I should get going before this mechanic shows up. If he shows up, I'm gonna text him. Hey, I know Madison already said it, but it doesn't hurt to hear again. I'll be careful. What do you mean, was? I went to the hall, I saw a man, and he saw me come out, and he went, he, he ran. Damn it. I can do this. I can do this as long as I don't poison anybody. Into the door. Well, I thought I'd stick around while you check on AJ. Okay, um, you know, if you like, I could arrange for a room over at the club. Listen, I know you're trying to help. I really do, and I appreciate it. Right now, I just have to figure this out on my own. Understood. You really want to make things better for me? You know I do. Then please leave. Because I just, I have to think. And to do that, I need everything toxic out of my life. You and JR. Is that how you really feel about it? Oh, God, I don't know how I feel about anything right now, David. That is part of the problem. Well, I guess I'm a big part of the problem, too. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just... By the time I got to him, he was in his car. I got the license plate number. I'm going to write it down. This is all my fault. Her one chance to nail David, and I blew it. Hmm. We're going to have another chance. Okay? How? Don't worry. How, Brian? He saw me. And if he saw you, he's going to call David and tell him we were together. If anything happens to you... Don't. Just take it easy, okay? He didn't see me. He didn't see me, okay? He didn't. First of all... He didn't see me. Second of all, I don't even know if this plan would have worked. I have no idea. So don't go all doomsday on me, okay? Because you didn't ruin anything. We don't know. I just wanted this to be over. It will be over. We just need a little bit more time. That's all. Okay? Hey. Can you handle this? Yes. If you can, it's no, okay. No, no. I'm going to keep pretending with David. I've gotten this far, right? What's a little longer? Are you sure? Yeah. I should get going, and um, I'll let you know if the mechanic makes contact with him. Hey, it's my turn now. Be careful. Always. You make Mommy happy. I can tell. Yeah? I hope so. You know what I also hope? I hope that I make you happy, too. Well... I'm happy right now. <laughs> well, then I guess we're off to a pretty good start, aren't we? Right now? Well, we can't leave now. The ceremony's about to start. I have to go. Oh, oh, you know what? It's okay. We're in no rush. You, your mom and me, we got all the time in the world. I don't understand. 
Are you... Are you trying to torture me? No. Are, are you trying to make me feel insecure at a time when I, I've never been more confident in my life? Well, that's not what I'm trying to do. We promised to leave each other alone. So you could rebuild your life with Marissa, and I could begin my life with Scott. Remember? Yes. Yes, but things change. What things? Marissa and I are done. What? When? Just now. I don't... Why? No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to say something like that and then not explain yourself. I don't want to make any more mistakes, okay? We've already made enough. Yes, like sleeping together in the first place. No! I mean, yes, I mean, at the time. But if we hadn't done that, I would have never figured it out. Figured what out? We're with the wrong people, Annie. We spent all this time fighting this... this pool, wondering what the hell's wrong with us. So? So the answer is nothing. I don't belong with Marissa. You don't belong with Scott. You belong with me.